Yeah, smash that like button. What's up, everybody? Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for coming out for a Monday afternoon build stream. I wasn't 100% sure what I was going to do today, and I had an RDA planned from Suicide Mods that I was kind of really excited about. I'm not going to spill the beans because I still might try to do it next week, but I had a, an RDA from Suicide Mods that I was really excited about, and uh, they didn't send me all the parts for it, and I have no way to block off the squonk pin, and I don't have uh, an RD, or I don't have a mod that can run this. You know, I don't have a squonk mod that can run this RDA. Anyway, doesn't much matter. Hang on, let me do make one little adjustment here. There we go. Let's do this. Oh, come on now, Macintosh, Macintosh computers. There you go. Um, but like I said, welcome guys. Today we're going to be doing the Cosmonaut V2 RD RDA. RDA, that's how you say it, RDA. Cosmonaut V2, this came from District 5. This RDA has been out on the market for almost one year now, and I have not got to, uh, I haven't got to try it. I, I just got it and never built it, never really, I don't know, it didn't even get, I didn't even open the package. I was like, oh, Cosmonaut V2, okay, bunk. It just went into storage somewhere, didn't see it, was completely off my radar, just weird. <laughs> it was just weird considering how much I really liked the Cosmonaut V1 RDA. But thank you guys for being here, Logan, I see you there. New Wave Dave, appreciate you guys being here. Plum Chutney, Chris Storm, Tuna is in the house. Neferon is in the house. I'm proud of you, Neferon. Becoming quite the advocate, and that just makes me so happy. We're going to be running on top of the Guar mod. And like I said, we're going to do a little bit of a build. We're going to do a little bit of a wick. If nothing else, I'm excited about this liquid because this is the liquid that I'm going to be putting in. In fact, let me put my nicotine warning up here. This liquid bottle does contain nicotine. This doesn't contain nicotine. This liquid bottle contains nicotine. I ordered a... Uh, 560 mils of this liquid because it's on its way to becoming a freaking legacy liquid. That's how much I've loved it so far. Thank you, Robert. What's up with you, Robert? What's going on? You want to chat? Fuck the build stream. Let's just chat. I'm just kidding. We're going to build this. I have some coils right now. So we're going to build this. You guys are going to have your OCD triggered for sure. I'm gonna do the best I can to not trigger that. If you guys have any questions, like as we're going along about the RDA, just feel free to ask them. I'll do my best to accommodate the Cosmonaut V2 RDA. The coils that I have going on the inside, I got some uh, high ohm aliens. Whoops, let me flip that correct. High ohm aliens from Mr. AJ Holland. He's quite the builder, man. Uh, I like the coils that he does. They give me that nice crackle that I'm after. And these are series aliens. These uh, dual coils should come out to about a 0.27, which, look, we're going to be running it on the Guar mod from Def Mods. I might do a review for these guys. I got two of these things now, and I really, really enjoy them. But let me show you the Cosmonaut. It's got a skull kind of engraved right there. Airflow slots right there, which are adjustable with this top cap. You can open them off. You can open them off, close them off, open them up. On the other side, it's engraved there, C2MNT. The C2MNT, it's the Cosmonaut V2. And like I said, it's about a year old. 810 drip tip right here. This is just the one that comes with it. Internal O-ring you can see right there. Let's adjust this airflow. Close it down, open it up if you want, restricted, cloud bro clouds. Now, I've tried out this airflow full open. It's swooshy. I mean, it's big swooshy airflow. We are going to be putting the, we are going to be testing this thing to its limits today because these coils, these AJ Holland coils are three and a half millimeter. What? Yeah, three and a half millimeters. So there's the deck, postless, very much like the Cosmonaut V1. Little two etched on there. The first thing I did when I popped this open was I changed out the pin. Comes with a squonk pin pre-installed. I'm not gonna be doing any squonking because I don't like tasting silicone bottles. Uh, Haruku official, hey Grim, do you remember that Buddha V2? The old school RDA that was made for cloud chasing. I remember the Buddha V2, but I never had a Buddha 
V2. I think I got to try one at a vape show, but I never got to vape my own Buddha V2. Big post holes, very large post holes in there. Flathead screws are gonna open these up. And you kinda have to be careful a little bit when you're switching out the pins in the bottom because when you unscrew the pin in the bottom to change it from a squonk to a regular, it dislodges this whole positive post. This whole positive post just gets loose and kind of falls almost completely off. I put it back on, I screwed it back down, but my post, my big block here was still like crooked. In fact, it still looks, does that look a little bit crooked to you? Still looked a little bit crooked to me. So I had to redo it. I had to re-pull it out, reset it, re-screw it back in. Oh, come on, man. I'm gonna open up all these posts. This should be quick and dirty. I feel like this is just gonna be a quick and dirty build on here. I just wanna make sure, I'm gonna go full Russian hacker for a second. I'm gonna make sure that these are all open all the way. It's just so much easier to see without my glasses on, which I know sounds weird, but I'm nearsighted, you see. All open. Let's get those open. Open it up like a like a ten dollar whore. I don't know why I said that. These are three and a half millimeter coils. So like I said, we're gonna be pushing these to we're gonna be pushing the Cosmonaut 2 to the limit of what I think it can fit on the inside. But if I just set these in here primarily, initially, yeah should span the distance perfectly. Now, you can run this as a single coil, so if you put it in like I did, accidentally one in this hole, one in this hole, single coil. In fact, the airflow can even accommodate a single coil if you go like boosh. As you can see on the airflow right here, that side is open, this side is shut off. So it can accommodate a nice giant single coil right through the middle, but Look, what's the fun in that? We want dual coils on this mother trucker. I'm gonna use this little coily tool here that I got from Gopher Vape. I'm gonna, I'm gonna clip these leads at I think a four millimeter. I think I'm gonna cut, clip these at a four. I guess it helps to have all your tools and whatnot out before the stream starts. Here we go, let's get some cotton, let's get some clippers. Now we're in business. I think I'm gonna trim these off right at a four. And as always, just as a general rule, whenever you're clipping leads, just just cut your leads and don't care where they go. Just let them fly all over your office, all over your bedroom, all over your kitchen, wherever you do your majority of building, because that's what vacuums are for, you know? You'll, you'll clean it up later with the vacuum. <laughs> Open it up like a circle pit, Rob Vapes. Open this up like a circle pit. Let's open this pit up. Remember when bands used to say that? Bands used to say that all the time. I have not heard a band in forever talk about a circle pit. I think the last time I saw a band talk about a circle pit was when I saw Cannibal Corpse and Obituary down in San Diego. I'm pretty sure uh, Corpse Grinder, Mr. Corpse Grinder, talked about opening up the circle pit. So again, just going to let those leads go flying. That's my best advice. Obviously, I'm being sarcastic. Don't let your leads go flying unless you really can't help it. And then, yeah, just let your leads go flying. These are supposed to ohm out to about a 0.25, maybe a 0.27. Yeah, Grim Green, I have stepped on those tiny clippings before. Well, what? wear shoes. Wear shoes in your house. I wear shoes in my house all the time. Yeah, perfect. So as you can see, you can just, this is positive right here. This is the negative side. You're just gonna put them, boosh. This spans the distance freaking perfectly. Whoops, if I can if I can get it in. There you go. One lead, one, one coil goes there. Oh, this is gonna be close quarters, man. Close quarters. Let's screw these in. I don't know what I'm thinking with two three and a half millimeter coils. I don't know why I decided to do it this way. But as you can see, look at that. One coil in. Now, shit, I feel like we could even leave it just like this with one coil in there with the size of these coils. Whitechapel are always fun. Whitechapel pits. 
Logan exhales, be honest with me. When was the last time you were like in a pit in a pit, in like a mosh pit? It's been forever for me. (laughs) Forever. The older I get, the less interest I have in being in the front and being in the pit. We're just going to kind of, I want to move these over a little bit. (laughs) Did I fuck it up? Might have fucked it up a little bit. See, these are three and a half millimeter and I don't have a three and a half millimeter tool. That looks fine. Let's try to get this other one in here. Now you don't want these touching. So that's why we're trying to spread them apart a little bit. I don't have a three millimeter, uh, three and a half millimeter guy here. I got a three millimeter. All right, well, you know, the Grim Green build stream is always an adventure, but that's where your coils are eventually gonna be placed. It's always an adventure. Yeah, buddy. I'd say we're halfway there. I'd say we're on the home stretch. Easily on the home stretch. You stay far away from it, Plum Chutney? Yeah. I stay far away from it too. Now let's see if we can actually position these into a position that is going to be beneficial. Yeah, kind of, man. These coils are just gigantic, and I'm trying to pull them over as best I can with my little three millimeter tool here. But that is, uh, that's some close quarters. Let's see what this DNA 250C has to say. Uh, Yeah, we're going to resample it. It shouldn't be that low, that's fine. The resistance is gonna come up on these as we we glow them. That's 100% what always happens. Gonna leave this resist. I'm gonna leave this wattage at like 20 watts for right now, just to get these started. Now let's turn it up a little bit. Let's live on the edge. Let's go up to like 54 watts. Try to get these glowing. Yeah. Oh, buddy, these look like a mess right now. That's okay. Pulse strum. That's really all it takes. These are gigantic coils. I don't even know if they're gonna clear the top cap. But they're glowing. See how easy that was? They're glowing perfectly. Perfectly. Let's glow them again. Yeah, center out. Center out. That's what you want. Okay, rate that install. It's going to be tight, isn't it, Michael? It's going to be tight. I don't even know if these are going to, honestly, I didn't even bother to check the tolerances on a three and a half millimeter coil. Oh, it should fit. Yeah, buddy, it should fit in there fine. I can tell that top cap's going to be getting hot, hot, hot. Feeling hot, hot, hot. Beefy. Zach, thank you. Perfect 10. Eight, eight and a half. Dude, these are my best scores I've ever got. 10, Chris? Solid nine and a half from Michael. That's what I like to see. Solid. Not Dash gave me, is that a negative six? God damn, it takes a lot to impress not Dash apparently. A negative six. Look, I'll admit, it looks ugly as hell. These leads on the end, look at that. (laughs) That is jacked. That is jacked and a half. That is super jacked. But it doesn't matter because when I press the button, they're just going to glow evenly every single time. Evenly glowing, and that's all that matters. That's all that matters. In fact, I'm gonna, uh, we gotta cool these off a little bit. You gotta cool down here, bud. I'm gonna take this off. We're gonna recheck the resistance because it should be a lot higher. It was reading, uh, how is it still firing? Okay, no resistance, there we go. What up, broski, what up, Justin Dahl? Shout out to you, Justin Dahl. Appreciate you being here, Justin Dahl. I like that name, Justin Dahl. All right, there we go, 0.29, 0.29. Perfection has been achieved. 
0.29, 54 watts. We're gonna run this as if it were a series build. We're gonna run this at a pretty high wattage. I'm looking to get like six and a half, seven volts out of this. Uh, yo, yo, Zach, pizza beard. Uh, howdy ho, I'll give that build a six and a half. Look, it's not the worst rating I've ever had. Uh, not dash, give me a negative six. That hurts, not dash. That hurts. Oh, you like my shirt? Sw Thank you, Swag. Uh, you know, you can buy these at uh, grimgreenmerch.com if you feel so inclined. Now's the part where we're going to throw some cotton in this, and i got to go full Russian hacker again. i got to take off my glasses because we're going to try to put some freaking cotton in these freaking coils. Three and a half millimeters, so it's going to take a lot of cotton to really get these uh, tight, 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 tight. Roll it in. Yeah, not bad. I don't think the Cosmonaut 2 was designed for three and a half millimeter coils. And I don't know why I try to build incorrectly for every RDA that I've had on this build stream. Like literally every RDA I've had on this build stream. It's like, oh, a tiny little chamber. Let's try to put three millimeter coils in there. I constantly am building incorrectly. But again, this just, I want to do this to show you guys that it it's not rocket surgery. For anybody that is like a brand new vapor and you just caught this replay, know that you can do this too. Anybody, literally anybody can do this. And it'll vape and it doesn't have to look the prettiest. That, at least that's the excuse I use. That's what I tell myself. I'm like, no, no, it, it vapes fine. It doesn't have to look pretty. Get some hot cotton action right there. Now, these have to go straight down I didn't even think about this. Three millimeter coils, three and a half millimeter coils. It's going to take a lot of cotton, man. It's going to take a lot of cotton, and I don't know if it's going to fit down there. One thing that they did improve over the Cosmonaut V1 is uh, they gave it a little bit of a lip. There's a little bit of a lip in here now. And on the Cosmonaut V1, there wasn't really any sort of uh, lip for like your wicks for your juice to, to not flood all over the place. The top cap sort of became the juice well. Yeah, this is that's way too much cotton, Grim Green. It's gonna have to be spread out. I got it in on one side. That's not too bad. That is a ton of cotton. Well, that's what you get with three and a half millimeter coils, bro. <laughs> Just the most cotton possible. Trying to tuck. Trying to tuck. Okay, that's not bad. I feel real confident with this. Yes, wicked. All right, rate that wick job. I'm guessing I'm not gonna get over a six on that wick job. Not over, not even over a five. Miller man crit. It's C rocket surgery. <laughs> oh, you son of a bitch. Comb it? Should I comb it out? I don't want to comb it out. I don't like combing my coils. I'm just going to say it. I can't stand that practice. It always messes me up. Just leave your cotton how God intended. Thick, full, and luxurious. But it's okay, because we got some cotton kind of pouring over the sides a little bit. Some cotton pouring over the sides, which is fine. This is actually going to be helpful to our cause of getting the liquid to the, co to the coils. Seven, six, ten, Sith Walker. You're always so gracious to me. That's a perfect ten, isn't it? Now, I have a feeling, I'm thinking now that these are, uh, if it vapes, it's perfect PSS, but if it doesn't vape, then we're all screwed. I have a feeling I'm gonna get some serious crazy spit back on this. And if I had a bigger rod that didn't get in the way, this three millimeter, three and a half millimeter rod this big chunky part gets in the way on the deck. If I had a three millimeter rod, I would have probably moved these out a little bit. But as it stands, they're just gonna kinda sit there in the middle. Now is the time to apply your e-liquid, which means I am applying a nicotine e-liquid. This is three milligram Lemon Life uh, Cherry Limeade. This is becoming this is on its way to becoming a legacy liquid. 
Legacy liquid here, bro. Legacy liquid. Bleh. Let's see how that works. Bleh. Juice well's already full. The cotton's already soaking it up, though. Cotton's already soaking it up. Let's get this cotton wet. Let's get this cotton moist. Who, who, show of hands, who, who, who's one of those people that doesn't like the word moist? Like my wife. I just hate that word moist. I like the word moist. Makes me happy. Separate the coils, reduce spit back. I know, Tom. I know. I should have separated them, but I didn't. And it's because my post, I better, I wonder if I could separate them after the fact. No, let's not try that right now. It seems to, uh, even if I blit it really hard, it doesn't stay pooled like on a lot of other RDAs in the, in the coils. That's definitely over dripped, 100% over dripped. But that is wet and juicy. We're still at a uh, 0.3, so let's turn this voltage up. No, nope, let's turn it up even more. 83 watts is not going to do it. Let's try 99 watts. Six volts right there, 99 watts on a 0.27. It's basically series. This is basically a series vape right now. I'm really excited about it. I think this turned out great. Now, let's put this top cap on. We're going to position both of the slots right in front of the coils. Just like that. Even though they got liquid pouring out from every which way. We got the coils sitting nicely in front of the slots. We're going to position our airflow right there. Full open airflow. Three and a half millimeter AJ Holland high ohm aliens. Liam hates moist. Liam hates moist. That's weird. You're weird, Liam. I'm just kidding. You're not weird. Everybody remember to stay hydrated as well while you're doing a build stream. Smoky, I know, it is a moist juice, a moist liquid. All right, I can guess I can take this, uh, whoops. What did I just kill? That was something, all right. Let's try it. Let's give it a vap. Let me just prove to you what wattage I'm running right now. Oh, that's here, let's, uh, nope, other way, other way, there you go. 0.297 at 99 watts. You see that? That's my proof. 0 .9, 0 0.297 at 99 watts. And I just like 99 because it reminds me of that haunted song, 99. <laughs> but let's give it a try. Ah. It's, it's, it's so oversaturated. Who cares? Fuck the world. Give it a shot. Yeah. Awesomeness. Awesomeness. The airflow is a little bit sharp. Airflow is a little bit sharp on this. Uh, it would have been nice uh, to have a little bit stiffer of a wick. In fact, let's bring me front and center. Hi guys, how are you doing? Hanging out with my cosmonaut, with my lemon life. Uh, airflow feels a little bit sharp. I'm just gonna say the airflow feels a little bit sharp on this. I'm not getting any liquid hot magma in my mouth just yet. But Luis says, I'm the man. King vape, yes, Luis, Th Lewis, Lewis, is that you, Lewis? Thank you, Lewis, for being here. I appreciate the kind words. Airflow's a little sharp. I'm expecting this top cap to also get really, really warm. Just really, really warm. Just toss the tack just toss this RDA in the tackle box already. Just damn it. Just retire it right now.
this liquid is really, really different at a high wattage. And I know this isn't about the liquid, but I have Danny Lolo's Lemon Life Cherry Limeade in here. And I've been vaping it out of the billet box at a whopping like, you know, 22 watts or something like this. Yeah, 30 watts. And it's just wonderful. It's just creamy and lime and cherry. This is the only cherry that I've ever had that is a good cherry. At this high of a wattage, it honestly tastes more like lemon peel, like the rind of a lemon. I, I kind of don't enjoy it at a high wattage, which is crazy. I don't really enjoy this so much at this high of a wattage. That's kind of bumming me out. This might be a low wattage only juice. Uh, it doesn't really destroy my coils very much, Cassian Gray. It doesn't really destroy my coils too much. Yeah, Paranormal Vapes, I'm telling you, this is a good cherry flavor. So, Cosmonaut, right? Cosmonaut 2, easy to build, easy to wick. I would have been better off with some smaller gauge coils in here. Maybe some two and a half millimeter M-Turk coils probably would have been much better in here. Yeah, good call. Turn it down. Shout out from Israel. We got the vaping Jew here. Shout out from the United States. Sorry. Sorry about everything that's going on right now. We're doing our best. You know, we're still finding our feet a little bit. Let's knock it down to 66 watts. Let's try it at 66 watts, 66 watts. Uh, Joe Johnson, Little Italy buddy, keep up the awesome work. Fuck yeah, Little Italy buddy. Are you, were you that guy? Were you the guy I took a picture with in Little Italy all those years ago? That was in 2014, wasn't it? That was when I was moving down to LA, like moving down to Southern California looking for places to live. That's crazy. Okay, yeah, that's much better. A lot more of that cherry lime sweetness comes through and not just like lime peel. It tastes like a lime rind. Cosmonaut 2, here's my final thoughts on it. It's got a real easy build deck. You just drop your coils down and you just screw them down. Flathead screws, I would separate them a little bit more than I did. But even now, now that they're centered, I'm not getting that like lava spit back in my mouth. Airflow, it's swooshy, but it's not smooth in any way. Even though they kind of camfered the edges, this is basically the rye airflow. Like maybe the rye stole it from this since this has been out for a year, but that camfered like beveled airflow, it doesn't lend itself to being very smooth on this. The Vape and Jew asks, why don't you do videos about QP designs? I, I do. <laughs> I've done a few QP design videos. The problem is QP design shit sells out really fast and they're not a company that has sent free stuff to people. So I try to buy all the new QP stuff that comes out, but it just sells out so quick, so quick that I can't even, I can't even buy it. I know there's two new RTAs from QP that I would love to try. I just can't get them. I can't get them fast enough. Not for lack of trying, man. I love the QP stuff. The last QP video I did was the Kali V2. I really liked it. Oh, Joey, that was you. Holy shit, bro. Well, thank you for being here, man. That's fucking hilarious. I'm up in LA now. I'm up in the beautiful uh, San Fernando Valley. Okay, so final thoughts. QP, no. Why'd you get that in my head, the vaping Jew? Why'd you get that in my head about QP designs? Cosmonaut V2, kind of a banger. I don't know. Maybe I have a little bit of rose colored glasses because I really liked the version one so much. I'm not completely in love with the V2. Maybe if I put some Turk coils in there, flavor's pretty good. The airflow is what's killing me. There's so many RDAs on the market right now that have much nicer, better, smoother airflow that the, that the uh, Cosmonaut V2 just kind of, it, it's lacking. It's lacking in the airflow department. 
it's not terrible. Okay, it's not terrible. It's just a little bit on the sharp side, okay? So there you go, guys. That's the build. Damn, we almost made it in under 30 minutes. Well, technically, technically it is still under 30 minutes because I have one minute left because the hold screen is there for the first five minutes, which you can skip in the replay. So there you go. Uh, made the big move to North Carolina. Fuck yeah, North Carolina, Joey. Well, I, maybe our paths will cross again someday. You never know. Billy says, I have a Juggernaut V2 RTA in stainless steel that I can send to you for review. Uh, I ran one build in the tank. You, oh, you only ran one build? Well, shit, look, Billy, if you want to send that for a review, I'd love to try it out. Uh, I'm, I'll buy it secondhand from you. I'll just buy it. I'd like to bu just buy it from you. Let me know. Let me know if you're on that. That's right. We're singing happy birthday. It's one of my patrons' birthdays. Plum freaking Chutney, who's in the chat. Everybody wish Plum Chutney a happy birthday. Happy birthday to Plum Chutney. He wants you to smash that like button, right, Plum Chutney? Happy birthday to Plum Chutney. Happy birthday, dear Plum Chutney. Smash that like button. Happy birthday to you. Yeah. Happy birthday, Plum Chutney. Hope you're having a great day. Hope you're having a, a fantastic birthday. And Plum Chutney, for his birthday, all he wants as a gift is for you to hit that like button if you like what you saw here. If you didn't, you can also still hit the like button. Like, nobody's going to know that it was you that hit it. Happy birthday, Mr. Plum Chutney. Happy birthday, brother. I don't know how long I'm going to keep this up and running. This might end up in no man's land pretty quickly, I feel. Yeah, I'm just not, I don't like this Lemon Life liquid in this. I only like it in a billet box, apparently. Damn, it tastes so completely different. So completely different. That's crazy. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up, you guys. I'm going to put away my build tools. I'm going to put away all my things. You go there. You go there, you go there, cotton goes away, you go away, coils go here, boosh. I didn't show you the packaging, but it just comes in a little cardboard box. That's it. And you get a little baggie of O-rings and extra screws included if you can track down a Cosmonaut V2 if you want to have a year-old RDA that's a year old. There you go. Cheers, guys. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up, but thank you guys seriously so much for coming out. I really appreciate it. We are going to be doing a Tuesday Bro Tuesday tomorrow. We're going to be talking about that drop in youth vaping. Youth vaping's down. Why isn't anybody celebrating it? Everybody's still uh, saying that there's a vaping epidemic, even though it's down like 30% or something like that. We're going to have the great and powerful Danielle Jones back on tomorrow to talk about it. And uh, I think it's going to be great. I think it's going to be real great, but thank you guys so much for coming out, watching me build a Cosmonaut V2. Not super in love with it, but thank you anyway. I appreciate you being here. Be excellent to each other, you guys. Peace. Oh.